Hey guys, and welcome back to Winter's Day in Guild Wars 2. We have a few items to demo today. First up is the Winter's Monarch uh, Cape, which I have here. The second Black Lion Cape, which of course is dyeable. So let's show off the dyes. We'll go for... Uh, yellow should stand out. So we have the back is the top left. The kind of detail is the top right. The detail up here, if I swap weapon, you'll be able to see it better. This little uh, gem or brooch or whatever, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, that is the bottom right, and it has the aura effect as well. And the bottom left is the bit of fur there. And that is worth 500 gems. Now we also have a new item which is the snowflake gobbler pack this gets you 25 snowflakes and the snowflake gobbler which would trade snowflakes for the chance to get a winter's day boost or winter's day gift uh, five snowflakes will get you a snowflake gobbler's blessing has a chance to give winter's day gift or boost the boost grants the following for 15 minutes 25 experience from kills 25 gold from kills or 25 or sorry and 25 reward track gain in pvp and world v world so the gold from kills isn't too bad. And it can take the funds from your bank, so I will just do five for now. We'll see if the boost will stack. The boost does stack, which is very handy. So I got five boosts, right, 15 minutes. Yeah, five boosts and five gifts from that. So that's kind of handy. Uh, I'm gonna actually buy loads of snowflakes right now. <laughs> Five. Oh, it's about the same. It's not too much point. So that is the snowflake gobbler. That is worth 400 gems in the gem store. And it seems to have no limit either, which is quite handy. Now, let's go show off the cape on all races. Now, if you do want to be in with a chance to win these items, you can head on over to this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the top right-hand corner right now. Right, here is the Winter Monarch Cape on a Norn with the default dies. I think I prefer the emblazoned cape that we got the last week. This is quite nice. I think it will go well with the outfit. Let me check the outfit with default dies. Here's the outfit with the default dies. I think it does look kind of, it does look quite well. It matches up with the outfit very nicely. Okay, let's move on. Here is the cape on a human. I think it's a nice size and human. But again, I still prefer the emblazoned. Just the shape of it is. Uh, I just prefer the shape of the emblazoned cape, I think. I don't know why, but I do. Anyway, let's move on to the next race. Here is the cape and outfit on Char. Outfit, I think, is returning to sale this week as well. Quite well. Right. Let's move on to our final race, which is Silvari. And finally, we have. Oh, actually, that looks really nice in the white and the red. We have the cape on a Silvari. I actually quite like that with this outfit. Maybe I'll use this. Hmm. Interesting. Let's find somewhere to pose. Here we go. So yeah, I quite like this outfit and cape combo. This is the, uh, the Mage Knight outfit from a few months ago, I think it was. It's quite nice. Hmm. 
There we go. Let's return to Quando to wrap up the video. Well, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. I'll be back later on today with Winter's Day Live. We'll be getting a bash in at the meta achievement. I don't even know how many there is in this achievement. Uh, but we'll be taking a bash at it. Trying to get the new festive sweater. That's what it is. So yeah, that's our goal for this afternoon's or this evening's stream. But until then, uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more in the future. Again, head on over to this week's giveaway to be able to chance to win the new items. And make sure to join the Discord to stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, when I go live, and our weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. That's it for me for now, so until next time, take care.